I'm back, y'all. Fuck the world, I'm a walking erection. Spit without a thought, we do it reckless. You nigga call us texting. You said, baby, don't be mad, you know how pretty it is. Guys, this is Sean and I'm back with another video. So, as you can see by the title, this is gonna be a decor type of video. First, I have to use the bed, but I'm going to give the intro, then I'm gonna come back and do a haul of the places that I went to and everything that I got from it. Everything else I'll explain as I go. I might do another QA, then yeah. I'm back, y'all. And behind me, the things that I got from the store today. First, I went to File Below and I got I got a waist trainer for my workout. I got a book bag for my school. You know, I went back to school. School started on Wednesday. A food storage set, 42 piece. Really cute. Then I have my five pound weights because I'm going to start working on my arms and things like that. I need a good posture while I'm doing my squats. So I got some five pound weights. This is from Five Below. Then I got a wavy mirror in teal, a hello mirror, letter book, a tufted mirror, so it's like smooth and like soft on the outside, and it's this mirror in here. The poster that says glow up. This isn't from Five Below, but it is a um, water cap because I get baptized tomorrow. Protect this head of mine. Recount fuzzy slippers because I get really cold randomly throughout the night then i got some rugs from five below too so this is a hand woven multi-colored rug and it's a 36 by, by 60 inch super cute i have this circle cotton braid rug that is 30 inches diagonal 30 inch diameter or whatever it's called i don't like the fact that it's so shaggy but i mean i got it from five below this is what i got from target i didn't get much from target because i was on a budget i'm not going to be splurging and getting stuff for the house because it's not it's no rush really i don't have um i don't plan on having a whole bunch of company so i got a composition notebook because I, I was using the ones that i had to like organize my house my bill i got a three subject five star notebook value pack command strips the small one then i got another value pack command strips with um the big ones then i have um magnet dry erase color coding kit these are what the hooks look like i don't know if i i wasn't looking at the camera when i did that well that's my song that's playing in my ear i have poster strips it's a cute picture board that says everyone's different, everyone belongs. It's really cute. Last one, Love Thy Neighbor. I think this is super cute. I'm going to time lapse this, um, sort everything, and then after that, you'll just be seeing it. Yeah. Here is something that I made with my friends in Virginia, and I'm going to pair it with. This one that I also made in my room, just some artwork that I made, and I'm gonna pair these two that I just bought and put it in the living room. Then I painted this picture, but these three will go in my bedroom. Then these three posters with this rug is gonna go in the dining room.
I've heard it all Our conversations got me feeling I'm the fool Like I should have listened when they said that you Would treat me like he did Alright you guys and that is all for the decor I think I did pretty nice I don't know what else I'm gonna put up But I'm leaving I'm trying to leave space so that if I do have something in mind That I want to put up It won't look cluttered If I decide to do a QA, and a Then that'll be in the next clip Alright you guys so I'm back And in honor of Valentine's Day being on the way I found some questions to ask your crush So first question Do you think double texting is a big deal? Y'all asking the wrong one If you my man, you my man So if I'm double texting you It shouldn't be no problem The most embarrassing thing you've ever done To get a crush's attention I was in second grade, me and my homegirl, we had a match versus who can walk the cutest past this guy. And we look stupid. Like, we were walking past him just doing anything just to get his attention. And it, honestly, he was very thirsty. Have you had your first kiss? <laughs> this question, the one that we were, me and my friend was trying to impress, he was my first kiss. I need somebody baby daddy now. Do you believe in astrology? Does your sign fit you? Yes, I do believe in astrology, but I don't like live by it by law. I'm a Taurus and I do know that the characteristics that go with a Taurus, it do match me. Like as far as stubborn, um, hard headed, uh, like a earth oriented, like that normally fits my character. Have you ever been cheated on? Who hasn't? How many significant others have you had? That I'm willing to claim? No, I don't have any kids and I don't have a ring, so none. I mean, whoever I meet will be my first boyfriend. So what's your love language? My love language. So physical touch, acts of service, so like just doing something random that you know I need it done, like little things like that. Gift giving is one, of course, who don't like gifts. Also a gift giver too. I always think a female be gold digging and all this other stuff like that. Whole time I trick harder when I'm getting tricked on. But you don't know how to court and really date females no more and it sucks. That's why I be saying to myself and I barely interact with people. It's the best relationship I ever had when I was with a girl. <laughs> what do you value most in friendships? How reliable you are, how loyal you are, things like that. I hold them to a standard of family. So as long as they dead when it counts, we all good. Have you ever gone through a friendship breakup? Well, I went through friendship breakups before, but like the ones that really actually meant something to me, we right back together. We, we be having breaks. You know me since seven years old and 15 or 14 years old. So like, we like these. We argue about the dumbest things. Like it be something so simple, like so like simple. It just be like that time of the year where we just need a break. The friendship breakups really do bite. You consider deal breakers in relationship. Oh, a liar. That's the first one. Men say like women be manipulating and they be lying. But I'm just one of those weird females that I don't do all that. I grew up around my uncles, my cousins, my big brothers, all that. I don't lie to these at all. So like when they lie about stuff that ain't worth lying about, because I am so stubborn and I can hold a grudge, which is not good. I'm not bragging on it, but I can hold a grudge and I'm very stubborn. So if you lie to me, I probably would never like trust your word again. I will say cheating is a deal breaker. What? <laughs> I ain't even gonna touch the cheating subject because y'all gonna beat me up about it. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done in front of your crush? Oh my gosh. One of my significant others passed away like about top of 2022. And like around that time, I just was like spiraling. Drinking heavy, like it was bad. It's like, I wouldn't say he's perfect, but he would have been like a very good boyfriend. So I was drinking a little bit before I seen him, whatever. When we linked, we was chilling, running errands, doing what he needed to do to make his little coin, whatever. So we end up rolling up. And when we was, you know, puff puff passing, he had the heat on and it was a little hot, like a little too hot. And I think I was a little tipsy. And I had wine, I had Southern Home wine. I'll never forget because I feel like that's what really got me. That that Southern, I don't even drink Southern Home, so it probably was why, and it was bitter. Like, with a couple of hits, I just was like, yo, my stomach hurt. Like, I started feeling, you know that feeling when you get that that little spit come up? That's how you know you about to throw up. I threw up in this man car. <laughs> I felt so bad. But I sent him the money to get a, the, a nice uh, car wash after that. But to this day, like, that's just one of the things I regret because he was really a, Yo, he was fine. Just no, like after that, he just was so done. Like he ain't say it. Like he was very respectful. He wasn't. He didn't get mad at me or nothing like that. He was so respectful. But you know, I know in the back here, like, <laughs> not legal again. 
not really too mad but i'm just like dang like we could have we could have saved that link for like a later date when i wasn't hurting anymore everything happened for a reason right, you guys that was the end of this video i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you guys like comment